body. I'm so glad to have you. Take an inhale, breathe in, and exhale. Add the legs, breathe in, heart lifts, and exhale. Reach even through your fingers, you're warming up everything. Reach in, and then exhale. Now we're going to go into a stretch, so pull the fingers up and over, and keep your legs wide if you want. And go over, five, four, good, three, two, and then up and over, and just enjoy stretching sideways, opening up, breathe in, four, three, two, and then come back up, and then let the feet go in a little bit more narrow, and then go up with your heels. So we're lifting up on all of the toe heads, each toe head is equal because without that cue, the ankles can sometimes kick out to the sides. So if anything, you might feel more weight on the first, second toe and up, but you have each toe having equal weight. Whoops. Try to stay up a little, like a little pause is at the top. Breathe in and two more and one more. Beautiful. And then take the left foot as your balancing foot. I'm going to move in a little bit. Your right leg's going to draw six circles each way. Dynamic balance. You're going to try to leave that foot off the ground. Breathe in. I'm going to do one more for good luck here. Now six the other way. One, two. You can get that circle bigger if you'd like more challenge. Five. Neck is easy. And six. Now that foot's going to come down. Take the other one. Go up and around. Point. And as you pass underneath you, you can flex that foot. Five. The challenge is to try to keep the foot off the ground the whole time. Another challenge is to stay big in that circle and let that go when you're ready. Take the legs out. Now we're going to go down about six times here. So some type of Second position squat, also known as goddess posture in yoga. That's it. And let's take two more and two. Now stay low and you can add about six mini pulses. So about two inches, chest is open, wrists are easy. Inhale and then let your hands rest for just a moment. Drop your right shoulder and add a rotation. Inhale. And exhale, drop the shoulder and add a rotation. Bring it in and add extension and flexion. You can think of a cat-cow, but you're on your uh, squat. You're in a squat cat-cow. Really work up the back one vertebra at a time if you can. Now we're going to take a circle. So you go forward, side, around. Forward, side, around. So wake up all those respiratory muscles. You want your back really mobile and go the other way. So it's like your, I always think of when you make ice cream or some kind of dessert and you want to get a spatula on the inside of that mixing bowl. And then we're going to go one vertebra at a time up. Terrific job. And then let your left foot stay center. Take the right foot in a tree pose. This is more a static. Now at first, just hold for a good 10 count, a really solid 10 where everything's stable. Good. Now, if you'd like to add on, pat your hand behind you. I'm actually going to try to clap and then clap the hand above. So the palms touch, your body stays the same except for the arms. One more, breathe in. Keep going and out. And then the hands go to your heart. Rotate away from the knee and hold for 10. Breathe in and then exhale. Lower that foot down. <laughs> Good job. And lift and spread the toes. Go to the other side. So it's a little series. The first is tree. Static. So when you are ready, you lift your arms. We're just going to hold for 10. You're securing your form cues. 
Hips are uh, even, shoulders are down. Good, I love that knee opening. Whoa, keep going. Now the next, if you're wanting to add on with me, it's a dynamic. So your palms clap. You're also feeling the shoulders open, but the part of the body that's moving is the higher part. So could be considered a little more challenging. Now your palms are gonna to touch and then slide down the midline. There you go, just come back when you can. Now you rotate your torso away from the knee that's in the air. So you're gonna hold this for 10. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, come back, lower your foot. Really good job. Now this next one, lift and spread your toes. You're gonna take your right leg back. Now at first, just balance for 10 and stay up. 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay up, nine. Now with your leg in the air, draw little circles about the size of an acorn squash or a pumpkin, and then six the other way. And you're gonna do six pulses up towards the sky, six times, just little pulses, six, whoops, five, four, three, two, and then on the one come up. This is working the glutes. So we're gonna lift and spread the toes, exhale, hinge, and you might try to go towards parallel. Now you're gonna be holding for 10, keep the neck long, 10 and the jaw soft. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now you're gonna add six circles pointing that back leg, pointing the back toes, like an acorn squash or a pumpkin and then the other way. Now six pulses up towards the sky. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and then come back. Whew, nice job. Now we're gonna be standing tall, one quad stretch. Take an inhale to go up, and an exhale to hold onto your foot. The ribs are down, the pubic bones up, and hold. Try to feel the front of that thigh stretching. We, most of us need the hip flexor to be uh, stretched. Good, the heel might even get closer to the booty as you're here. You may add on if you'd like. Beautiful, guys. 10, hips are square. For me, that's the cue that's the easiest to lose, so I want to really keep that one. Five, push, four, put your aim, three. That's good. <laughs> that means you're trying. Take an inhale, and look how gracefully you can come back. Perfect! The hips are level, whatever you're doing. You're going to try to keep the hips level. Open up the other arm. And that circle is even part of it, right? We're trying to keep our shoulders, shoulders mobile. So the hips are level, you're in a normal quad stretch. So your ribs pull down, pubic bone pulls up. All right, you're really, you saw how my hip wanted to go out. I had to really push strong. So these cues are going, circulating through your mind. Add on your push. So you're, usually your conscious mind can hang on to one cue at a time, so you gently focus on one cue. My hips are level, my shoulders down the back, I'm breathing, four corners of alignment on that standing foot. I'm pushing into my, uh, into my hand. So you just circulate through those cues to grow and expand. Breathe in, inhale. As you're ready, you, you gracefully, yeah, it's a lot. Come back. Woo! 
How about we grab a little sip, shall we? Let's grab a sip. Good job. Woo. Nice job, everybody. All right. Okay, tiny little, um, it, this is a roll front through. So if you need a foam roller to hold on to, you can use it. But just listen and watch, and I'll, I'll do my best to show from the side view. Lift both heels, and I'm going to stand a little bit wider. Lift both heels, keep the heels up, and bend the knees. Now lower the heels and stand up. Lift the heels, bend the knees while the heels are in the air. Lower the heels and then stand up. Lift the heels, bend the knees. So this is really good for the ankles. Lower the heels and then stand up. If you need something to hold on to, that's okay. And then, whoops, <laughs> lift the heels, bend the knees while the heels are in the air. Lower the heels and then stand up one more like this. Now you can go lower than I'm showing. There, I'll do one. Now, this time we reverse it. So keep the feet flat, do a squat. Good. Now keep the hips low, but roll through the uh, foot. So you're now on the toes. Now stand up with your heels in the air, lower your heels, lower your glutes, lift up your heels while you're lowering your, where your fanny's low and then stand up. Can you feel how that's really good for the ankles? Lower your hips, lift your heels, but stay low, then stand up. This is roll front through. This is actually a reformer move, but you can do it in standing, right? So lower, now lift, then, so it's all at the ankle. Yeah, one more, <laughs> but look how right here, the ankles, whoo, super strong. Nice job, great job. Let's take a, either a down dog or a dolphin, so breathe in. Good job. So we love strong ankles and we love mobile ankles for the back and for balance. Now this is down dog. The other opportunity would be dolphin. Stretch out those calves that we just worked and those ankles that we just worked. Press the hands so the hips go further back and the heels go closer towards the floor. Don't worry if they don't touch, but try to reach that way. Pick up your left foot and push the right heel a little closer. I'm also going to show the dolphin variation, but you can do whichever one you need. And sometimes I like dolphin just because it gives my heel more room to stretch to the floor. Lengthen through that knee already. Uh, lengthen it more. Try the other foot down and then push that foot on the heel and stretch. Keep pressing it down. Keep pushing your hips back. Your arms are actively pushing your hips back. Both feet again and try double calf stretch. Hold five, four, three, two. Breathe in. Now you can take a child pose here or a puppy dog pose. Stretch out your back and then you can add your toes pulling under and stretch out your toes. If you need more toe stretch, because we just did that great Dolphin down dog, you can come up to your shins. This is more foot stretch. So I have my feet vertical here. Now, if you need more, you put your hands behind you and lift up, toe crush asana. Five, good, just feel your feet, four. And if you need more stretch, Jean, you can put your knees closer together. If you don't, leave them where they are. Yeah, that'll be more stretch. Lift your hips if you want more hip flexor. And then exhale and relax down to your belly. Now. On your, on your belly, you're going you're gonna to do some upper back. The first is Sphinx. This is a really nice one to start. As you notice how your body's doing this morning, you can put your hands now on the mat and go up. This can be done with props as well, like a, a roller or an orbit or an arc. But otherwise, just really own the pose, shoulders down. And good, uh, the elbows are pointed towards the floor, which is another way to say external rotation. Maybe lift your head, Jean, just a half an inch. Yep, it just a ten, tiny bit, it looks good. Uh, it looks really good, good Karen, good. And lower, everybody's rest at your upper body, but lift up your lower, le your legs. Now leave them up, and then lower your legs, and then you start lifting your upper body, and then your hands help you get higher. Breathe in, good, that looks good, Shireen. And then lower your upper body, 
lift up your legs. Lower your legs and lift up your upper body. Lower your upper body and lift up your legs. And then lift up your upper body. And then lower and then lift your legs. And your upper body. And your legs. And your upper body. Now, this is what you could continue doing, or you could, when you're up, let go and do a rock and catch yourself. Or you could do a few of those in a row, three to five. Or three to five. Again, either slow or letting go. And then a child pose. Rest back. This time I'm offering a knee. Good. That's good. A knee wide. That is so your belly can take a big, you can take a big breath into your belly. And then inhale and come up. Really good, guys. Grab a sip if you'd like. We're going to touch our plank muscles as well. Forearms are going to be down. And the elbows are underneath the shoulder. Always, uh, if you ever need to modify, the knees are away. In other words, the flesh above your kneecaps. And then the other more uh, traditional, you go up to your toes. Hold for 10. Feel your belly pull in. Good. Now rest in the sphinx for a moment. And what we'll do next time is an isometric hold on that plank. So when you're ready, curl your toes, lift up your hips, and this is an inside job. So your forearms are going towards your feet more and your feet towards your forearms. Your ribs pull down to your pubic bone. Your pubic bone pulls towards your ribs. You're going to feel like your abs are working harder. Five more, four more, three, two, and let Sphinx be your recovery. Good. We're going to do a side plank here. So get ready uh, so that your elbows underneath your shoulder. Your feet can be stacked or staggered and have an exhale help you up. Stretch out through your hands. So the bottom hand is flat on the floor if you can. The top hand is stretched out. So much of our daily tasks are kind of curled in. So we're opening up even through the hands. Breathe in. Now we're going to lower the hip and go to the other side. You're welcome to flip. I'm going to face you. Elbow down. Get ready. I'm going to stack the feet for a harder variation. You're welcome to stagger them. Stretch out your hands. Good. Stretch out your elbow. Nice. Betty, did you feel that? Just like an extra inch. So much of our body's in flexion during the day, so this is our chance to stretch it out. Breathe in. And then exhale. Lower. Now we're going to go back to the front plank, and we're going to do a little hip lift. Dolphin to plank. Now the forearms are on the mat. You're going to lift up your hips and then come into a plank. Lift up the hips. Come into a plank. Four more. We'll do six today. Inhale. And three more. Controlled. Knees along. Controlled. And up. Nice job. And then turn to the side. Now the possibility here is a tree pose. If you would like to add on tree, I like to set it up first and then come up. Go up and hold. I'm still trying to stretch out those hands. I'm still trying to stretch through the elbow. On my back, it's against an imaginary wall. The hip is lifted. Good. The head's against that same wall. That looks fabulous. Breathe in. Now lower your hip with care. Take it to the other side. Elbow underneath. Now this top foot. Good. Okay. Get ready. It's in tree if you want it. Push. Lift, lift, lift. Back against the wall. Fingers stretched out. Head against the wall too. Hip is lifted. Breathing calmly. Inhale. 
and then exhale to lower that down. Really good job. Grab a sip if you'd like. We're going to change up the way we work our abs here. And let's take up arm underneath the ear like it's a pillow. Take your legs long, belly in. Here we go, lifting up. Feel that uh, area near the rib and the pelvis. Uh, both legs are lifting if you can, Betty, but if that's too much, just modify with the top leg. So sometimes people have a painful hip and you can leave that leg down if that's the case. All right, about five more depending on where you are for 20. Now on this next, if you care to add on the upper body, it's like you're a little banana or you're a crescent moon. If that is too much on your neck or too hard, you can always use these fingers like teepees. Now it's up to you, but if you care to add on, you can add a banana boat, come back down, breathe in and exhale. So you know I'm trying to do it slow and controlled. Breathe in, inhale, exhale, good, Jean, up. Another modification would be the knees bend or you just stay with a banana. Inhale, get ready, one more, now hold, five, four, three, two, and on the one, come back down before you go to the other side, lie on your belly, your arms are like a pillow, Lift up both legs and tap the feet together about 20 times to build those glutes, to build and keep your knees a little longer, if they will. Yeah, there you go. But the knees come off the floor, but they're long. And five, four, three, two. Now let's go to the other side. Your arms, your arm is like a pillow. And you're gonna rest on that to keep your neck neutral. Go up with your legs. Two, belly in, three, four, five, neck soft, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have a little oblique window underneath your body, twelve, thirteen. There's a little space, fourteen, fifteen. Both legs are lifting, sixteen, seven. You feel that right there. 18. You see how I'm scooting up? Okay, upper body could go on, could add on a layer. Good. Yeah, it's like you're a banana. Now, um, if you're on a mat like me in a hard floor, if you're at the top at the front of the mat, you have more room to add on without getting on the hard floor. So you're doing a banana boat and you're strategizing so that you're on a comfortable so your bones don't run into the hard floor Whew, comfortable mat you can also bend the knees for a modification you could just keep doing a banana boat or a double leg lift what we're trying to do is mix up how the abs get worked and then hold it maybe five here shoulders open five four good three that looks great two and recover really good job grab a sip And we're gonna do a little cat-cow now with a lot of modifications and a lot of challenges. So listen to your body, do what you need to. You can do cat-cow. One way to do this is just with the hands on weights. If your wrists are an issue or forearms on the arc or to curl the knuckles, knuckles under, your main objective is to safely articulate the spine, flexion extension. Now, if you care to add on, you can take your hands on the mat, curl your toes, lift your knees, hover them. Now my knees are off the mat and cat cow with the shins in the air. Only the toes and the hands are touching. Breathe in, good, good. Four, three, two, one. Now for a moment, a child pose Come back to hands and knees when you're ready. Check your space. 
right arm, left leg reach, and no toes, no shin, touch the floor. Now bend the elbow to the knee underneath your body, and then extend, round, touch the elbow to the knee. Try to keep the toes and the shin off the floor. Three more. Two. All right, try the other six. So it's going to be about six on each. Good, round the back. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Now, hands are down, and you're going to take a bow pose with this quadruped position so the left foot and the right hand can meet. And then they can lift, 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 lift towards the sky. Everything's growing up. Ten. And then lower. Now your other hand and your other foot. Inhale, and then exhale, and let go. A child pose, push back. Nice job, breathe in. And grab a sip, we're gonna go back down into some really good posture work. Good job so far, everybody. I like the elbow bend, that was a great one. So you're, you've got room to be on your belly, and the hands are going to be beside your hips, hovered off the floor. So not touching, but lifting. Now you're lifting the torso. You can lift your toes and your knees off the mat and just, it's almost like you're on a raft. You just belly on the raft, everything else lifting up. Long, and I'm going to look good. That looks so good. That hand cue, yes, that's hard. Good job, great. That hand cue, that arms reaching down, Helps you stay out of the upper traps too. Breathe in, lifting. You move a little bit, but you're basically trying to stay off the floor with your upper body and your lower body. Lower down, you can do that again. Another option would be your hands can touch each other on the low back, they could even interlace. Breathe in, lift. Recover. Again, come up. 10. And recover. Now, this time, your hands are making a circle breaststroke. And when you, you circle, you come up, your hands can go all the way down to your thigh. So a bigger circle, a really big circle. Scapula will move. You're lifting, you're lifting up your back. You're feeling your scapula move. Healthy shoulders have scapula that glide. You're lifting up high if you can. Big arm circles, big mobility. We always do something with shoulder mobility because it can be a problem area for people if we don't do something, so we're intervening. Now, this time, let your arms be a pillow. I like a forearm position in my cheek. Lengthen one leg up, then lengthen the other leg up without disturbing your pelvis, without uh, tension in your jaw. One leg at a time is long and then lifts. That may be all you wanna do. If you care to add on to swimming, you could take your arms like a Y, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Now a, a modification would be arms are by your side. So if you tend to be upper trap, uh, tight, easily, you might like that. Left. Now the other way to get harder is all the limbs are off the floor and then you continue right arm, left leg, left arm, uh, right leg. We can do a percussive inhale for two and exhale for two. 
keep going. Upper back lifts, building strength. We don't want no osteoporosis. Push back and upper back is getting a rest. We're gonna bend the elbows so you have this little extra tricep bonus uh, stretch. And then come back. Really good job. Grab a sip if you'd like. We're gonna do a couple of plank variations. Nice job. This is going to be a forward and back plank. So our elbows or forearms are going to be down. Your toes are curled under and hold. Now you can push forward and drop back to your heels and push forward and drop back to your heels. We'll do 12 of these. Good, feel a little stretch too. Long knees though, lengthen your knees and then rest in Sphinx. It's also a counter pose, breathe in. Now this is gonna be a rock and roll. The hips are gonna do a rotation. So go into a front plank, curl the toes, lift up and then just dip the left hip a little and then the right hip a little. 12 of those, five, six, seven. It's little, eight knees long. Good, you can just rotate your hips. Inhale, and then rest your pelvis, and be in Sphinx, or if you wanna do a little more Cobra, hands on or swan. Good, breathe. Inhale, and then exhale. Now we're gonna turn sideways and do a small pattern. Uh, we like to do patterns with the exercise because it's the best way to keep the brain uh, healthy, neuroplasty, feet together, uh, like stacked if you want it harder. Go up. Now we're going to do a rotation and then we're going to go over. So a rotation and over, a rotation and over, a rotation and over, and one more, a rotation and then over. All right, let that hip go. Let's go to the other side. So we're doing five of the patterns. So it's 10 moves, feet together. So you're remembering all that while you're doing it. Now it's a rotation and then over. So that would be one set. Rotation and then over, that would be two sets. Rotation and over, that would be three sets. Rotation over four, five, really good. Lower down, nice job. Now we're gonna take a little balance pose. Take your two peace fingers around your big toes and lift. This is a shoulder blade down the back move. You good, you knew what I was doing. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it as a possible. Woo. Hamstrings need this. You're gliding your blades down. Good, and just do the possible, uh, the option that you can. Maybe it's a bent knee today. Maybe you're able to stretch out wider. I tried to go wider and I lost my balance, but that's okay. The floor's close. Hold. Now you could try to go a hamstring stretch. Good, just play around, see what you can do. Good, five, good, four. Inhale and then lower that down. Now we're gonna take the feet out pretty wide here. And uh, toes up if you can. Watch your space, add a saw move. Okay, my first one's always pretty tight. So if you can go lower, go for it, but rotate and then reach and then rotate, reach. And just know it may be like, you're like me. It may just take a few to warm up and your opposite hip, you're trying to keep down. You're rotating first and then reach pinky towards the pinky. Your hips stay pretty stable on the mat. Good, it's starting to warm up. Rotate, starting to stretch a little bit more. Rotate first. Good. Now go inhale and exhale, I'm gonna show a couple ways to do this, but the first one is your right forearms on the inside of the legs, 
the left arm is reaching over. So you have this half moon stretch in the upper body. I also love a little rotation. And then if that feels like I just can't hold my balance, you can always put that hand on the outside of your leg. So just find out what helps you keep this lateral flexion. Now act like I'm pulling your arm and lengthen through that elbow. Yes, very good. You feel that two inches move, that was good. Imagine I'm there helping you open your ribs towards the back wall. Your toes have space here. Pinky, each toe has a little window of space, light coming through. Breathe in and go up. Now, sometimes you can just notice right away, whoo, like I look lopsided. So how do you feel? That looks good though. Go up. So we want to do the other side. Over, reach, reach. This little finger can be like caterpillars walking. Good. Now breathe into this rib cage. The breath helps open up the muscles. The breath helps calm the nervous system. The breath sets the tone for the happy hormones to come into the body. Good, act like I'm pulling your arm. I think you did that cue before I even said it. Good, 10, good, Jean, nine. Breathe, eight, keep stretching, pull your toes back. You've got space between the toes if you can. Open up those toes. Every day, if you can, spread out your toes. Inhale and up. Now, if you care to go right down the middle, go for it. Hands wherever you need them. And then relax. Take the inhale and come up. Oh, awesome job. Grab a sip. We're, we're not quite done with our seated work. We're going to do a little rotation. The two, uh, rotation and lateral flexion, are critical for uh, posture. It helps keep your body upright. So I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see me. You're going to rotate right and rotate left. So rotate right. It's okay to have a little controlled bounce here. You're in control here. You're not just like whipping your body around without form. Your belly's in. Now your upper body, it's the uh, legs are glued. Your upper body's rotating. Now we're gonna be holding, so just find a spot where your hands feel like they're helping you. 10, two, good, three, four, five, six, shoulders down, seven, yep, eight, Open up the arms and just find a spot where they are helping you on the other side. Inhale and then exhale, relax. We're gonna go down to the mat, guys. Make sure you have enough mat behind you that your back is on something. If you care to take a 10 second count to go down, you can. If you, if you need to go right down, do it. Good. All right, once ever you get there, full body stretch. And then take the feet onto the floor and curl your spine up. Again, mobility in the spine from a different position. Move up. Your hamstrings and glutes are firing. You've got some articulation happening in the low back. and up, good, and up. Now hold here and just see, are you balanced in the hips? <clears throat> are your knees over your hey, ankles? Do you have a little space underneath your neck? Hold 10. Now we're uh, possibly adding on, if you can lift your heels, get on your toes and hold. 
add 10 little pulses. Lower your heels, add 10 little pulses so your feet are flat. Either stay there or lift up your right leg and point your right toes and do 10 little pulses with your hips going up and down. Take the top foot and pull the toes back and do 10 little pulses like you're stomping on the ceiling. And then let the right foot come down and make sure your hips are level here. And then point the left toes towards the sky as vertical as you can. There should be a hamstring stretch there. And 10 little pulses with your right glute going up and down. Really straighten that knee if you can, the front one, the top one. Pull your toes back on the top foot, spread out those toes and do 10 little more pulses. Now let your left foot down, curl your spine down and take your hands to your feet in a happy baby. Either stay here in happy baby or take five bicycle rides up to a teaser, your choice. Another backup plan would be to do some bridges, but take two more. Good, and if you're up, Stay and hold teaser for five. Good. There you go. Five, four, good. Three. I like it. That's a great two. And then roll down, hug your legs for just a moment. And then take a bridge up and down or take one set of 20 rotational uh, abdominals. So this would be also called crisscross in Pilates or in yoga, it's called yogic bicycle. So you can be doing bridges or you could do a rotation crisscross. If you're doing the crisscross, reach to your heel now. Breathe in. And now let your head down and hands to your feet, pull the knees wide. This is a bound angle. Lift both legs up and glue the legs together. Let your hands be down on the mat circle your leg so it's a corkscrew and then circle your sacrum the other way like a clock is on the sky and you want to trace it clockwise once and counterclockwise once the bigger that circle the harder it is to keep the ribs down glue uh, energy through the leg so you've got some active legs they're they're squeezing towards each other you're pointing your your energy through your legs one more good now hug the legs in and add a little right and left rock now the next one is right leg up I'm going to show a couple different things you can do left leg down this is a hamstring stretch if you care to add on lift up your shoulders and add 20 single leg stretches and I'll cue at the 10 so that if you're doing a hamstring stretch, now you can do a hamstring stretch on the other side, right? The other way you could do this is leave your head down and just do. So you wanna just listen to your body. Four, three, two, one. Now take a moment along that line, hamstring stretch, hold it up or lift up your left leg and reach up for your top foot and hold this pose, Uttita Padangustasana, holding onto the hamstring stretch in an ab crunch, or if you want, let's say osteoporosis, then your head's down and you're just doing the hamstring stretch. Good. Ooh, everybody looks good. Breathe in, relax the head, switch the feet up, go to the other side. Either you're doing a stretch or you're doing an ab crunch plus a stretch. Good, plus the leg up, breathe. Belly pulls in every time you exhale, 10. Inhale, and then relax. Now take the legs out like a big V and stretch them for a moment, inner thighs. Now let the left leg go down, leave the right leg in the air and draw eight circles with one leg that's in the air. It's a circle as big as you can keep your shoulder blades down. Nice, energy through the leg. And then we're gonna be doing the opposite direction. 
like corkscrew, the bigger the circle, the harder it is to keep the shoulder blades and the ribs down. Reach through that leg. And I'm going to take one more uh, before we do the other leg. Stretch it here. Pull those toes back and see if you can see light between the toes. So you want to feel, you want to see space between the toes. We want to keep the feet healthy. Wide toes, wide foot, inhale, and then take the other leg up. Your hands frame your hips. Draw a big circle, about eight each way. Breathe in, shoulders down. Reach through your knee. You feel how you're getting stretching and strengthening and abs. Inhale. And we'll do eight the other way. Now you're going to be taking the leg up and pull your toes back. So you're spreading out your feet. The foot is really wide right now. Your other psoas is down on the floor. Your other leg's down on the mat. Feel that hamstring. Oh, good, good, good. Feel it come in. Five. Breathe in. And take that uh, leg uh, in position. Move your ankles a bit. We're going to take a hip opener. So you have a right ankle to left thigh. Reach your hands through the window. And if you feel like you cannot reach your thighs without your head kind of being in an awkward position, grab a pillow, place it underneath your head and or shoulders. It's a great place to roll that ankle if you haven't already started. I can see some of you started really good. Toes spread. If your toes weren't responding earlier, this is a great chance to open them up. Big toe and pinky toe especially. Five, four, good, feel your hip letting go. Three, try the other side, ankle to thigh, reach your hand through the window. And this is a great place to move the ankle, the toes. Whew. Back and forth. Oh, like, love that. So your back's getting a stretch, your hip, your toes. Five. Four. And then we're going to be taking a knee down twist. Now I want to offer it a couple ways. You could do the traditional left leg long, right knee over, right arm out. Or if you want to try something different, you can do an eagle twist. <clears throat> you would start with your right leg wrapping underneath your left toes and then go over to the left, right arm out. So do whichever one works for you. I do like to show different twists. I also like the hand on the knee at the thigh. It just helps that leg stay uh, oriented towards heading towards the floor and not popping up. The other hand is stretched out like a T or a Y. You're getting a long stretch across the side, the back, the hip. Breathe in fully and let your exhale melt you into the floor. Now we're going to be realigning and you can do the knee down twist that we tend to do right leg long, knee over. There's no wrong or right answer. Sometimes I just like to mix it up. Left foot can cross like an eagle pose. So the left toes are even hooked underneath the shin. Go over. Now the right hand can help that knee. The left arm goes out.
take another inhale and as you exhale you could do a quad stretch on your side or if you prefer to do this on a foam roller you can do this on the foam roller your hand goes to your foot your shoulder opens good all right i'm going to grab mine just to show as well <clears throat> If you're on the foam roller, or you could do this on the floor uh, without a foam roller, it's just a lot more intense. I like it, what I see. You might drop your knee down just a little bit, Karen, one inch, and just see. Is that, if it's okay for your knee, it's a deeper stretch for your quad. Let me see what else I see. Good. Make sure that's comfortable. Everybody looks good. Good, Jean. Yep. We'll try the other one, too. So you've got this little... Ooh, that's a good. Now the breath is part of it. You're, um, so you're on the other side, your ribs pull down, your pubic bone pulls up. You've got this low diaphragmatic breath. Really good. That's good, Polly. It's also a shoulder opener. You can probably feel that. I love it. Inhale. And then exhale, gently come off. And if you have a wall or a couch, you could put your feet up on it. I also like to do this with the hips up on something. So a, a, a foam roller or a block to get the low back to decompress. It takes a, a lot of gravity's toll during the day. So this is a time you could decompress it. Relax here. Take another inhale. Now we're going to release the, sa the, the sacrum from that height and slowly come up to a comfortable position. And we'll take a shoulder release that serves you. It could be interlaced. It could be namaste reversed. Yep, you can do it interlaced or namaste reversed. Just something that opens up your shoulders. Good. Yep. Yeah. The main goal is to open up. You could take cow face. We'll add on. Just something different for your shoulders. Breathe in fully. Nice, Jean. And then up and over. Mm-hmm. Good, I love that help on the tricep. Breathe in fully. And then you're just gonna let that go, take any release that you need. And we'll take a few moments just to come inside, connect with that part of us that's peaceful, that likes to feel good, that likes to have wellness. Today I intend to stay closely connected to this feeling of wellness. If I start to feel like I get discord or disrupted from that peace, I know I can refocus my thoughts and focus on something that I do want my attention on. I know I can take a few breaths or stretch or go outside, do some movement with so much appreciation. Thank you guys so much.